welcome back to Valley. Where in the last uh, episode, well, we basically did a lot of stuff. We came here looking for... Well, basically, sounded like we are a hobby archaeologist who wants to find the mythical life seed. I did, totally didn't have to look at, up in the right corner to what the hell it was called again. And we found an old leaf suit, an amazing suit that allows us to jump very high, to jump stupidly high, and to dispense life and death. We can collect life from things, and we can give life. And we made a huge tree grow a lot so we could slip under it, and we are now under that huge tree. Where we are picking up an upgrade for this leaf suit, and apparently some dangerous form is ahead. Get to higher and further areas by double jumping with the Icarus boots upgrade. Each boost costs one unit of energy. Hmm. Fair enough. Andrew Fisher, lead physicist. Beginning Pathfinder testing on the Icarus boost upgrade. The secondary boost augmentation to the leaf suit should allow a Pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, increasing the height and distance of their leap drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. Unless you already died. Note from Virginia King. While pyramids are commonly well, common throughout Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred, a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Because that's the most logical way to get into such a place. I mean, yeah, sure, they have. Oh, Christ, that was not the plan. I went too fast. Leaf suits are very heavy equipment. This makes water incredibly dangerous. Yeah, I think you that much. I basically slipped, alright. Let's see if there's a bit more energy to restore here. Looks like most things in here are still alive, so where did things die? Good. seed is produced. I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. it must be a top of that thing. That must be a top of that thing. That sign. Excavation site. Excavation. It's already channel only. And a thousand, yeah, a number of seat cradle, organic structure housing embryonic plants. Okay. So, annoyingly enough, there is no life seat here. Could have expected as much, I guess, but still. I mean, that would have been a very short game, would it not? And apparently that was what the big boom was about. Look, you found the life seat, but... Um, well, you found the place where the life seat should be, but there is no life seat. The double jump in this is a lot nicer than it is in uh, Drift and Dunbar, I'm slow to my momentum, yeah I know. But yeah, apparently the 
Ooh, that's a strange... Strange angles, it's really confusing. Uh -oh. Okay, hello. Hello, new area. You seem to be slightly dead, sorry about that. There was... Oh. That is very far away. So, old facility. We are now at the... Uh... Good. Whoa! Okay, what are those? Loading bay. Uh, can I get over here? Soma loading bay. All drivers must shut off the engine. Can't break shock wheels. I have no idea what that was. Where of Amrita swamps. They can be best fight with live energy. Damage from their attacks affects run energy count. Damage at zero energy results in death. Notes from a researcher. The Armita swarms and digitus to the Earth Valley are incredibly aggressive. It is advisable to maintain a considerable distance between oneself and the swarm, otherwise it will send a wave of attack drones towards the victim. Like a beast defense, the swarm will suicide themselves to protect the rest of the cluster. Never a great idea, really. It's not a great way to stay alive for a very long time. That tree is so stupidly big. Seriously, that tree would not uh, stand for any... Uh, Tran tunnel axis? Cold storage. Make up your mind, it's one of the... You know, it's one or the other. It can't be both. But yeah, so we need to pacify that swarm and sprint by, I guess. And collect a bit of energy, because I don't have a lot at the moment. Now we can make our way to the rest of the back to the rest of the valley again. Cool. Uh, I see. Something dead again. That is very bad for me because, well... No. Okay. Okay, so... They need a couple shots and... Hopefully they stay passive, that would be nice. I mean, wouldn't an easier way to deal with them be... Well, I thought maybe an easier way to deal with them would be to just kill them off, but... To take all their life energy, but... They belong in this area, so they are probably sort of immune to that type of stuff. I mean, if there's one thing I could do without in this valley, it's those damn Amrita swarms that seem to infect this place. They aren't so bad when they're calm, but when they're starved of Amrita energy, they become incredibly aggressive, sending waves of drones toward intruders in suicidal attacks. They seem to be becoming angrier the longer we're here. Hmm. So, that means one of two things. Either they are now the worst, as bad as they can get, because they have been here for a long time, or they are now fairly timid, but will get worse, because it seems like everything around here has been gone for a while. Energy canisters increase your suit's energy capacity by 4 units. Okay. Ooh, I guess I missed one. Generators used by the arm have been designed, except 
on me on Rita Energy. Try activating one with your suits on the Alright. This, uh, well, it doesn't really sound very trustworthy. And these are wounds that I'm very happy that my fear of heights does not trigger uh, in games. When a pathfinder dies while wearing a leaf suit, they are revived at the cost of other nearby living things. The, this exciting yet dangerous functionality is known as quantum immortality. I have no idea what quantum has to do with it because. Well, quantum is just, it's a certain amount. For instance, you have a quantum amount of Lego blocks. You have one Lego block, or two Lego blocks, or three Lego blocks. And Christ, that is high. I am so happy Fair Heights doesn't trigger for me in games, because we are stuck. We are not stuck. Okay. From what I've been told, the Saurus was discovered back in 1811 by a surveyor seeking to map this remote region. No one believed what he reportedly saw. Due to the sheer remoteness of this region, history was written off as the senile delusion of an old man, and his tale was soon forgotten. It was not until recently that the government was approached by a scientist named Fisher, to use this location as an alternative energy project of some sort. How he came to discover this place is beyond me. Did you know about the life sheet? It would be hard not to in an area like this. Okay, yeah, that thing definitely won't go any higher. Note from Private Sparks. McDavid's has been riding me again. It's like a guy can't take a nap uh, anymore these days. Sure, I wasn't guard duty at the time. But, um, what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. Rabbits are cool. What's your problem with rabbits? momentum and jump very high or very far away, basically. No. Okay. Three shots apparently do the trick. Good to know. That did a very far drop. And it's an unfortunate fact in gaming that Perception and stuff like that. I'm not exactly perfect in game, so. Okay, it looks like I need to go that way. And let's get this as well. So, get on top of the mountain. Okay, no, no, no. You stop that right now. Okay. And I can also take energy from that swarm. Which sounds like a very bad idea because. Well, they get angry if they don't have enough energy. Oh, I guess maybe the, the presence of the army was draining the area of energy. So there wasn't enough for the uh, swarms. 
that makes sense, right? Sort of. I think, well, I think it makes sense in... ...new maps. Alright. Great opens. I do wonder what will happen if I just run out of energy in an area where I need it. Well, no. I guess I can just take error energy from the area. And not one of those Pathfinder signs. Does that mean that it will be a running area? Okay, that does mean that it's a running area. Very fast running area. Okay. And I guess I'm going over there. I do not trust that at all. Okay, yeah, that was... I did think they would be able to catch me, but... Well, I don't trust my judgement in those types of things. I never really trust my judgement. Well, that was a waste of energy. But yeah, I need to trust my judgement. It's something that I definitely learned while having driving lessons. And apparently I judge my... So how am I going to do that then? I need to create some speed so I can break through that. I don't know yet how I'm going to do that. Note from a worker. Working the pipes on this place is a real pain. And so they went out of their way to build a facility in the worst place imaginable, just to make it tough on lonely pipe fillers like me. Repairing a pressure system leaks take me half a day just to get to it. You ain't paying me enough if you ask me. Well, they are supposed to make it difficult to uh, get in. Okay, so we are going up high. So we can crash through the roof. At least that seems to be the idea. I definitely enjoy those legs. Yes, I'm a strange person that likes strange things. For instance, those types of legs are just right up my alley. Reminder to all personnel, please keep a safe distance away from Amrita swarms. They often become territor territorially aggressive when in need of health and Rita. If a swarm is blocking access to you, please request for a pathfinder to pacify the swarm. And while it's here, is the pathfinders being there and taking all this energy, that is making them aggressive. These might still have power. Well, yeah, this entire area is overflowing with power. Note from Pathfinder. Dying while wearing a leaf suit is an incredible experience. No one outside myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it is it is as a daydream one sometimes gets lost in. I die by falling into a lake, and the next second I'm standing by the shore, no one else being the wise about what just happened to me. Is it even real? Well, if you look at all the dead things that are suddenly around you, I would say yes. And we're well, having a grapple hook or something. Awesome. Swing yourself to new places with a vibe pole upgrade. Allowing Pathfinders to latch onto Meta Crane Box. Each use costs one unit of energy. Annoying. So. The fiber coil upgrade to the leaf suit allows Pathfinders to grapple onto certain target points within a limited range, allowing them to reach areas where jumps prove insufficient. For testing purposes, the Viper 
coil is currently limited to particular targets. Okay, yeah, that is definitely becoming... Uh, now it's beginning to really feel very... Uh, a story about my English. I guess I'm going to need some uh, acorns very soon. Because that swinging is basically the entire uh, gameplay mechanic of um, a story about my uncle. I mean, there are many other parts as well, but that's the main thing. So I guess the military would be able to get in here, right? There we go. Warning. Crane block overhead. Oh. I like that. It's a little... Uh, it's a tooltip that doesn't really feel like a tooltip, as it is a warning that people would place. Note from a pathfinder. We've got an alarmed portion of this valley mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've explored most of the acorn doors. I hear there are a couple of spots with almost enough medallions to access Big Step Pyramid. <laughs> cool. Ooh. See, I guess I got. I'm now kind of good at the. Uh timing for that, because if it's the same as uh, a story about my uncle, I played that a lot. And yes, I keep mentioning that game, it's saying, like I said, it's the reason I'm playing this, so yeah, of course I'm going to uh, mention it a lot. Note from Virginia King. I'm Sarah. The repeating cycle of birth, life and death affected by the karma forest during one's life. Is what Pathfinder's experience constantly dying and reviving. According to Buddhism, there is no beginning to this cycle, but it can, however, be broken through enlightenment. Interesting. Okay, so I collected a lot of acorns, so I guess I managed to get in here. Good. Oh. There's a reward we get. What is it? How it looks like a door, but apparently it isn't. So this is just a room where you get more energy if you uh, did a good job exploring. So that didn't quite go as planned, but. It works. And it's not like I need to worry just yet because I have a lot of health. Do not want you spending energy. Which I always enjoy as a mechanic. Quest updated. Explore elevator shaft. Basically, go up further. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's the next. That's the part where the other, other elevator ended up. So, if I smash through there. I'll be able to activate it and go up. Note from an engineer. Ever since the Pathfinder program decided to use the Dead Eye Crane blocks as part of their training, my engineers have been consistently putting themselves in halfway to set them up. One poor fellow tragically fell to his death, string up a Dead Eye across a chasm. We don't even get to wear a damn leaf suit, otherwise, he may have lived. What a waste. 
Oh yeah, what do you think that? Uh, oh, this is going to be going very far down. Okay. Uh. Okay. Kind of surprised that the uh, elevator could survive that. No. Uh. See if I can catch one of these bubbles. Yeah, we really are stupidly high. Wait, we still can't go all the way up? Oh. It looks like that would be impossible anyway. Um. Continue journey to reach map. Mountain top facility. This definitely doesn't look like a stop yet, there is an exit. I mean, yes, if you can easily get here with the leaf suit, you can easily get off, but. Oh, everybody has a leaf suit. Oh. oh, that's what I can analyze. I'll find the training area. Both headquarters. Okay, yeah. Authorized personnel only. Well, there's nobody authorizing anything anymore. This Pathfinder's train here. Well, we did just. As long as it hasn't been with the isolation policy in effect. I've often found myself in the company of a Pathfinder named Edwin Hall. The things he can do in a leaf suit are astounding. Some nights we'll head to the rooftop above my office and watch the auroras. I have no idea what he could possibly see in me, though. I tend to ramble a lot. I mean, who wouldn't find Mesoamerican calendrical systems anything other than fascinating? Guys love that stuff, right? <laughs> uh, depends on the guy. I mean, if rambling is a reason for people not to like you, then nobody would like me. I can't say if that's the case, but... Well, I seriously ramble a lot. I mean, last episode I had rambles on basically stuff... I mean, last episode was... Pretty mild with rambling for my taste. And can I get this thing alive? No, I don't look like it. No. Stop sending your drones, I already fed you. No, still feeding, apparently. So, my observatory area. Con concentration requires science. Oh. Note from a Pathfinder. Everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily, I managed to extract its life before it could smile with my face. I got real far before turning it turning back to return its life energy. Hope I never hurt a seal life of him again. So I guess that's also a danger we have got to be wary of. Uh, oh, they time things. I guess. Okay. Okay. Not. I'm pretty good at that swing. 
I don't want to be so good that I die. Now look for a Pathfinder. These medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting into that pyramid first is gonna be tough. Right? These medallions are getting cleaned up Cleaned up fast. Getting into the pyramid first is gonna be tough. Hopefully I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. I guess they were racing each other to that. I am not making it, am I? Fuck. Health points down. Any life to return here? Because I would like to not have to worry about that. Alright, so. That's much more like it. The one go, even. And I missed. The acorns. And it's, it, no, regular boxes. Okay. Oh. And it's interesting boxes. Pendulum. I completely forgot what Pendulum stood for. I know it's a name that has been here before, but I don't remember from what. And falling rock sign apparently, so I mean many times they are just unnecessarily placed, but who knows. But so bad facility. And after having seen a let's play of Soma, well that is um, a bit unsettling name. Capende this way. I thought it was going to be a fun camp, but no, it looks like it's a military camp. And sure, if the military is fun, is all objective, how long has this been abandoned? Where did everybody go? If I would have to guess right now, I would say that they use the. Uh, My thingy. I suck so much at these names. But yeah, they used that, or the thing was used against them, or the thing used itself. And it drained the area of everything here. Which definitely would be kind of sad for. Um, whoever's notes we are hearing all the time. I mean, it's of course just as sad for those other ones, but we don't have an idea on who the other ones were. Oh, oh, okay. I guess those are kind of energy bar ish. Um, we have a large amount of spikes over here. Any um, energy doesn't uh, do more than that. Note from worker. These colossal statues all over the valley are a bit unnerving. Why would the ancient people who lived here build that kind of stuff? As scary as they are, I find there there is a beauty to them. Some something about those mon monstrous faces sitting along the calm forest captures an odd sense of allure. Yeah, no, they are just really creepy, really strange, and old civilizations are always strange. We never understand why they would do stuff. It's just uh, a clash in culture, but yeah. I would 
think that I would have enough uh, of the pyramid thingy that I would be able to get in right about now, but we haven't I haven't found a door like that yet, I think. Uh, oh, those recharge full of pieces of energy. Well on one side that's very wasted, on the other I don't think I'll be returning. So yeah, for all I know, that there's no reason for me not to. But yeah, how many of those medals do you need? Because I already have 12. It's a relatively large number. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm going over there. No, I'm going over here. Oh god, no, I... Double jumps. was a mistake. Yep. Did I regain energy by running through them? Looks like I did. Ooh, just made it. While I appreciate being brought in to study the valley, I wish the military's presence here wasn't so domineering. I can't say these giant structures add much to the view. It would be nice if this was simply a place of study and conservation. I'm doing my best to steer the army away from the ruins, but the only thing that seems to concern them is their project. Gathering up as many of these strange orbs as they possibly can. Okay, yeah, so... Rita stores, yeah. So they definitely were just eating all the energy from the area, pulling it for themselves, and so that's what definitely what made the swarms violent. Okay. Oh god! Okay. That ah, wasn't pleasant. So yeah, just in case you didn't get it yet, in case you didn't figure out that, uh, that hey, they are aggressive because they have low Amrata, uh, or retail or whatever it was called. Warning, grain block overhead. Yeah, yeah, it that. Well, I saw it. Oh, and that's how we get in there again. Okay, that's not. Okay, I did it. So oh. I overdid it. I don't think you are supposed to be up here. But apparently they didn't know that you could get up here. I guess there was another way to get up there as well. Yeah. yeah. So we jump down and break that thing, hopefully. We do not, because I failed. Side. Pendulum. The life seed found within the valley, produced every 1,000 years from so called Titan Tree, has been confiscated by the military and taken to the summer facility for scientific purposes. Because that never doesn't work out well now, doesn't it? So, yeah, we'll see how the military fuck this one up in the next episode. And yes, I don't have a very high view of the military. Kind of comes with the territory of being Dutch. <laughs>